A single militant woman politician in 1950s, Christine Mere Munyenyang Kata, who along with several men agitated for Uganda's independence, has died at the age of 81. She succumbed to cancer in London this week after almost 10 years of the cancer battle. Her body arrived in the morning at Entebbe International Airport. She will be buried tomorrow Friday at her gestro home in Sazi, Kasenje, Wakiso District. The vigil will be held at her home in Makinde and the funeral service will be held at Namrembe Cathedral on Friday. During Uganda's struggle for independence in the 1950s and 60s, a brave, youthful woman, the late Mary Carter, stunned the country when it teamed up with the militant men politicians in the confrontation of politics against the British administration. In the many years of political struggle, Mary Carter was often harassed and arrested by police, but she never gave up. When the Uganda Freedom Movement, UFM, was all formed in 1959 and planned for the boycott of non-African business commodities, the late Nkata joined UFM as an activist. At this time, she was imprisoned with her baby at Lizira Prison. The late Nkata, with Augustin Kamia, leader of UFM, declared October 1961 as Independence Day for Uganda, as the British government had not drawn up an independence plan. May her soul rest in eternal peace.